All right, so I remember exactly two years ago when I was a Huawei, I was sitting, I think, probably in the middle row, and I asked to myself, like, how is it that somebody could come up here and calm their nerves down to actually speak to so many new students? And two years later, I'm still asking myself the same question, to be honest. <laughs> like, but, I mean, they chose me, so I'm here, so I'll make the best of it. But, yeah, so my first year here at Cal Poly, uh, it took me a while to transition, to be honest. Um, the, the coursework, I found it really difficult at first and intimidating. I started getting a little bit homesick at, in the beginning because uh, I, I was used to being with my family a lot, so that was hard to deal with. I miss those home-cooked meals especially, so. And then, um, and yeah, so that took a while. And then my first year, I was also, I had a girlfriend at the time. We were together for two years, and during my first year, things didn't work out. She left me, and so, that, and at the time, it caused me a lot of depression, and I just didn't really know how to deal with it. I didn't think I was gonna bounce back, and yeah, I was just struggling a lot. You're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this negative stuff. Don't worry, it gets better, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, that first year, that's when I decided to join Chuck, and when I went to the first meeting and I saw the officers, I thought it was gonna be clicky, where there was just different groups throughout the club, and I just wasn't gonna be able to fit in, and I was completely wrong. Uh, when I joined Shep, the officers from day one, they were talking to all the new students, getting us acquainted with all the previous members, and right away, we had, I started making friends real quick, and through Shep, I made all the best friends that I have right now, and through these best friends, I've been able to move on with my life and continue improving and growing as a student. But something that Shep really helped me with was... Uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> All right. What I owe Chef the most for is for my professional growth. So my first year, I came in with zero internship experience, zero engineering experience. So looking at all the Cal Poly students that were already here, all the experience that they had, I figured, how am I going to stand a chance to all these people? How am I going to get an internship like, over anybody here? I have zero experience. And that's when I attended the MEP barbecue event. And through that event, I met one of the recruiters for SoCal Edison. Through that conversation, I realized that him and I graduated from the same high school, uh, Warren High School. Um, and so, one thing led to another, and I ended up getting an internship with SoCal Edison because of the way that I approached myself, because of the way that I talked to, this, to these companies. Now, this internship, this was summer 2017. It was more on the project management side of, of the company. So, not really related towards what I wanted for my major. So, second year, I decided to pursue an internship that's going to be more towards what I want, which is anything that has to deal with gas operations. And so that's when I applied for Pacific Gas and Electric. I applied for them in the fall career for 2017, and um, I didn't hear back right away. Uh, I thought they weren't gonna take me, and they had asked me if I was gonna go to the Chef National Conference, which is a conference that takes place in different cities around the country each year, and, and a lot of companies go to, go to these events. So I told them that I wasn't gonna go. But since I wasn't hearing back from pg and &E, I really wanted to work for them. I, a week before, I decided to drop like $800 to pay for my conference ticket and flight, and I took off. And a week later, I came home with the internship offer. I came home with the offer, and I got reimbursed for 700, like 700 out of the 800, so that was cool. But yeah, thank you for that. But, and then, so I just finished interning with them this summer and it was an unbelievable experience being able to like, just explore the Bay Area and just check, check out a new part of my life that I didn't think that I was gonna, that I was gonna be at. Now I'm just waiting to hear back for a full-time offer from them. I'm either gonna find out this week or next week, so hopefully it's good news, good, fingers crossed. <laughs> not to brag or anything, it's honestly like two years ago I didn't think that any of this was going to be possible. And I feel that what's really helped me to get to where I'm at right now is just being able to put myself out there, taking risks and taking chances and also learning to meet new people and to work together in teams with people. And I feel like when it comes to wanting the job of your life or the career of your life, you need to go to the career first, you need to put yourself out there and you can't be afraid of rejection. Uh, the truth is not every company is going to say yes to you, but once you realize that and you continue trying, eventually one company is going to tell you guys yes. And when that company says yes, you take the chance and you go for it. And then from there you just continue growing and you'll get to the, you'll get to the position that you guys want. You guys could 
uh, accomplished what I've accomplished or even passed me, honestly. You guys could pass me. You guys could do way more than what I've done. And there's a reason you guys are now in this room, because you guys are all capable of it. So my challenge to you guys is continue pushing yourself, so continue working hard. Again, it's going to be difficult being here. It's, uh, it's definitely a step up from community college or from high school. Uh, you want to make sure you put in all those study hours. You don't want to study the night before for exams. Not recommended. You only got 50 minutes for an exam, so just saying. <laughs> but yes, like I said, just continue putting yourselves out there and just take risks. And I know that you guys are going to have a very successful, successful time here in Cal Poly. And again, we're all in the same boat together. So we're all going to be able to get through this and we're going to come out with jobs. Like I said, all of you are going to come out with jobs. And that, I guarantee, as long as you continue pushing and you fight hard for it. So thank you, and I want to wish you guys the best of luck. And join Chef!